Okay, so this is the third one. Um, and this is the one where I've mentioned the, the lead magnet. Did you get the chance to read it yet? Um, and then I've explained why I'm asking for reviews. And then I've asked them to leave a review and then you can see there's the single link at the bottom there. So this one, it's a direct request to get their feedback on it. Something informative, something about my personality because they say cheeky Brie at the bottom because that's kind of what I am by asking them specifically for reviews. <laughs> and then the single link. I think we're going to have a look at one more as well. Ah, this is about reading. Now all of the people who are on my list like reading. So it seems like a no brainer to talk to them about reading. And I love reading and I write romance and I love reading time travel most of all. Um, not even time travel romance, just time travel everything. Um, but I read lots of other books and then there's a few readers who read just one type of book and then I ask them a question. What else do you like to read? Do you binge and then swap or what do you do? So um, I ask them to drop me a line and I get loads of responses to this. People who tell me all, all the things that they like and don't like. It's, um, it's surprising when you ask a question how much response you get. So this one, we've got a bit of common ground created. I love to read, so do you. We should be friends. Something about me, so the types of books that I read, asking a question and then a single link. And that one is the link to the, um, to the lead magnet. All right, so what you'll find with all of the emails that I've sent is that they're always short. They're always formatted similarly. Um, there's always an opt-out. You must have an opt-out. Um, ask questions. Referring back to your reader magnet sometimes. Don't do it every single time because it gets really annoying. And then you're going to follow the principles to trigger positive somatic reactions, which is making sure that whatever's in those emails interests both you and them. And you've, um, you've got a big pile of, of topics that you could use for these if you want to. Now, the thing is, you only have to do this one time. I've written those, those emails I wrote years ago, years ago. Can't be too much. No, probably a couple of years back now. Um, and and they, just, they just keep churning through. So it looks like a lot of work up front, and it is a lot of work up front. But after that, um, it, it works for itself. All right. So when we're looking at MailChimp's way of doing it. So you saw I had um, Mail Alight, which is just a nice straight um, series of, of steps. So when we do MailChimp, they call them customer journeys. Um, you do need the third tier of membership to access more than four steps in one customer journey. And you can't create a different group for those people um, to go into. So if you add them as a customer on MailChimp, you can't then move them to a different group. You'd have to add them again into your um, subscribers lists for your newsletter. So you need to use tags instead to identify them. Whereas with MailerLite, you would use a group um, and only send the welcome sequence to them. And what you need to do in MailChimp is to make sure that you exclude your new signups from your newsletter until they've finished going through the welcome sequence. So you need to use multiple delayed customer journeys when you're doing MailChimp. And this is the way that I've set it up um, on my MailChimp, even though I haven't actually activated it. It's, um, it's seven different journeys to do the seven different steps. And each journey looks, looks like this. So we've got the sign up to the audience and then they get the tag and then they get an email, right? The second one is, um, happens or is, starts when this tag goes on their email, on, on their email address. So once they've got that tag, this one is triggered. It's delayed for two days and then they get the email and that's the second email. And then the third one is the same as this. So that tag is added and then it's a four 
day delay before they get the next email and that's the third email and it goes all the way through then to the seventh one so that's again the same they've had this tag added to their audience data it's delayed for 12 days they get the email and then that tag is removed which then leaves them sitting on the original list are you saying you wouldn't send a welcome sequence no i still do um and I do send them the freebie, um, but you've got to be careful that you're not sending them that. My free book, Hidden Duchess, you can buy it as well. So I don't want to, for me, I don't want to instantly send my organic subscribers my free book because it wouldn't make any sense. But if you know that they haven't seen your free book, then yes, you definitely would still send them. You, you have to, you must still send them a welcome email at the very least a single one. I still have three emails on my welcome sequence for organic subscribers um, because I still want to create that, that um, sense of relationship with them. Um, so I actually have two welcome sequences i actually got a half a dozen welcome sequences but i've got two one for non-organics which is seven and one for organics which is three so definitely send send your organic subscribers something to say welcome thank you everything okay where are we at so once they get to the end of that sequence they come off the tag for the welcome sequence and then they're on your newsletter proper so <laughs> that's much more complicated to do no it's much more irritating to do than mail a light um, because you've got to set up multiple different ones but if you just have a single reader magnet and you're not customizing your emails to a specific source so you're just having all of your non-organics from book funnel or prolific works or book sweeps or newsletter swaps or whatever coming into the one place you can still do it effectively in mailchimp um, without having to go on to their third tier so we're going to do that a little later on oh now <laughs> in fact we're going to do that now so let's have a look first then at MailerLite. I'm not sure that I've logged in there. I've logged in there today, but I haven't logged in there now. So let me just hop in. Okay. All right, so just going to stop sharing that page and start sharing this page. Oi, it's the wrong account. Let's try the other account. There we go. All right, so what the first thing that you wanna do if you're gonna set up a welcome, um, sequence is to create a new subscriber group so you're going up to subscribers and then you're clicking on groups at the top there now you can see i've got a whole pile of them but basically these are the ones that you want no that's your lists you want sign up groups there's my organic signups list so these are the ones who come onto my organic list they then get their three and then switch onto that list all of these ones are different ones that go through their sequence and then hop onto my non-organic subscribers list. And the only reason I do that is because they're coming from all different places and I just want to know who's coming from where. But you don't have to do that. You can just have a non-organic subscribers, non-organic signups. All right. So make sure that you have that available. If you put them straight into your non-organic list, they're going to get your newsletter in amongst all of your welcome sequence and it's going to confuse them and start putting those negative negative uh, mental things into their heads so keep them separate until they've finished your welcome sequence and then move them on all right so to do the welcome sequence you're going to click on automation at the top there the last one at the top 
and you're going to click on this one here, create workflow. You come over to the right hand side, choose a name for your workflow. I'm just going to call this one test workflow. And you want to choose a trigger for it to happen. So what we want is when a subscriber joins a group. All right, so they're going to join um, my book funnel hidden Duchess sign up. So basically they go onto book funnel, they get my reader magnet hidden Duchess and book funnel automatically sends their email address over to mail alight for me. And they're on that subscribers group. And then this particular workflow is going to happen for them. All right. So then all you do is you keep pressing the plus button plus in the middle there and you can send them an email you can put a delay you can use a condition so um, if they say they're male you can send one thing if they say they're female you can say, or something like that with mine i had it set up because i had two reader magnets the condition was if they received this reader magnet they got this particular email if they received see the other reader magnet they got another one but you can use that condition it's an if then statement so if a equals b then trigger a happens otherwise trigger b happens <laughs> let's see if i can confuse you anymore with that <laughs> or there's an action which we'll look at towards the end all right so the first thing you're obviously going to do is send them out their first email it's your welcome email we're going to um send that out to them now it wants you to fill in the right hand side first so this one's going to be welcome from Brie Verity all right it's coming from me from my address and then you're going to design email these are all my templates in um in MailerLite but your easiest thing to do is just to pick up your newsletter template and just use the beginning of it and just delete all of the rest of it out. So you don't have to set up the header and the pictures and all of that. So we just select that one. And it's thinking. All right, I'm not gonna do anything in here, but you, um, we, should, we looked last week at how to how to delete bits off and how to change things around and all that. So um, what I do with mine is just have basically this first part, right? All of the stuff that I want under that. And then basically it chops off down to here. Happy reading Brie. And then it's got my, my footer stuff, which is all automatic. All right, so I'm done editing on that. you'll obviously be putting whatever your welcome email is in it. Oh, also all of the text from my welcome emails is in the book um, as well in the manual. So if you want to base yours on what I've written, feel free, don't copy it because my voice is gonna be way different to yours. Um, so we've done that step, we've got our email there. The next thing we're going to do is put a delay on because we don't wanna send them an email or every single day or you know, seven emails in a row. We want to delay this one. And you can just click on set delay, but it actually already comes up over here on the right. So we're just gonna wait two days. All right. So if I was doing this properly, I'd then have another email and another two days, another email, another two days. But we're going to assume that that wait two days is um, the last email. So after the last email, I take an action. And the action that I'm gonna take is to move them to another group. So I wanna move them to my normal newsletter subscribers group. So they're going from Book Funnel Hidden Duchess Signups, which is this one. And they're gonna go on to my non-organic subscribers list. 